We all know that at one point, Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton have been best friends. For years, the two have seemed inseparable, and on every public event, the two have been seen together. Now today, Kim Kardashian is way more in the spotlight than Paris Hilton is, and this despite the fact that Kim has started as the stylist of Paris. But if we look at the news that are coming out about them today, we almost never see them together anymore, and this has a reason. A lot of people have guessed that Kim has just used Paris as a vehicle to get famous herself and to position herself in the spotlight. However, the entire time this has just been a rumor. But now Paris Hilton has spoken up about the entire drama between her and Kim, and she has especially revealed why they you no longer see them together. Basically, Paris has revealed that Kim Kardashian has betrayed her massively, and because of that, they didn't have any more contact for quite a while. Kim on the other side denies a lot of the allegations, and in return, she went mad that Paris would say something like this about her. But what exactly happened between them? Did Kim really just use Paris Hilton for fame? And what did Paris Hilton expose? This is exactly what we are going to find out in today's video, so make sure to stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss a single juicy detail. Now for those of you that don't remember, Paris Hilton had her huge hype from about 2003 to 2007. She was one of the first people who heavily used reality TV and the attention of the paparazzi to her advantage to become one of the most talked about women during that time. This probably sounds very familiar to you as Kim Kardashian basically did the same when she was on her rise to fame, but we are going to talk about that in just a second. Now, as you might also know, Paris didn't just rise to fame and money on her own, and she was born in the Hilton family. But even though she was born in a rich family, it seemed like she wanted to make a name for herself, which she was able to do. However, not everything she did was positive. In fact, she got herself involved in quite a few scandals. But looking back at it, it also feels like a pretty smart marketing campaign from her side to get everyone talking about her. And whether you like her or not, she went down in the pop culture history as one of the first women that used the media in such a controversial way to gain attention. And at one point, she was even the most photographed woman in the world. What was so special about this is that usually to get famous during that time, you had to have some special skills, be an actor, musician, or something like this. But Paris was none of that, and she still made it. At that time, she was also known for continuously showing off her wealth, private parties, and basically the expensive lifestyle she was living. Now, if you go back and look what people thought about Paris during that time, it was either one out of two things. Either people loved her or they absolutely hated her. And while my gut feeling tells me that there were way more people who hated her than those who loved her, she was still one of the first people the 2000s to pull off this strategy so successfully. Now I know what you're thinking. This is literally the same playbook Kim Kardashian has used to get famous. So as I said, somewhere between 2003 and 2007, Paris Hilton was at the peak of her career. And in 2006, Kim Kardashian, who at that point wasn't such a big name as it is now, has started working as Paris Hilton's personal assistant and one of her friends. Initially, Kim was seen a lot in the background when paparazzi were taking pictures of Paris. I'm pretty sure that there is no official documentation on this, but I think it's safe to say that Kim Kardashian has learned the strategies on how to appear in the media, how to make headlines and so on from Paris Hilton whether it was just pure observation from her, or if she has asked her. Now people quickly started to recognize Kim Kardashian, and they wanted to know more about her. So quickly she started to work her way into the spotlight by basically using the same strategies Paris Hilton was using. What's important to mention though, is that the entire Kardashian-Jenner family at that time was trying to get into the spotlight. For example, Kim's sister Courtney also appeared in a reality TV show. So it wasn't just Kim, however, with Paris Hilton. Kim definitely had the biggest leverage to get well-known and famous quickly. During that time, the friendship between Paris and Kim shifted and Kim went from Paris' personal assistant to kinda being equals. They started going to parties together and Kim Kardashian said, we'd go anywhere and everywhere just to be seen. We knew exactly where to go, where to be seen, how to have something written about you. All you had to do is go to this restaurant or this party, talk about whatever you wanna talk about and it would be in the paper next day. At that time, I'd say Kim was still seen as the sidekick of Paris Hilton, and I can imagine that this was bothering Kim, and at the same time, Paris enjoyed being the more famous one. Now in September 2006, Paris was arrested to three years probation, and later she was sentenced to 45 days in jail. I'm not going too much in detail, since that would be too much for the video. To the media, Kim said that she would stand by Paris, and when she was asked if she is still supporting Paris, her answer was, of course, you have to. You have to support people that you love. While Paris Hilton was in jail, and at the time around that, Kim took the chance to take over. I know 45 days are usually not a lot, but in the fast-lived world of celebrities, it's a lot. At that time, Kim's infamous tape was released. And after Paris got out of jail, she wasn't happy about the fact that more people were talking about Kim than about her. In her post-jail interview, she said, I've gotten rid of a lot of people. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but they know who they are. 
Given the fact that Paris and Kim were sent way less after this, it's safe to say that she was talking about Paris there. Now, similar to Paris, Kim and the entire Kardashian family launched their TV show in 2007, which most of you probably know, called Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The show was an instant hit, and suddenly everyone knew about the Kardashians. Kim used the show quickly to showcase her personality and quickly build a bond to their audience. Now it seems like Paris wasn't happy at all about this. Interview with the Today magazine, she was talking about Kim's butt, and there she said, it's disgusting. It reminds me of cottage cheese inside of a big trash bag. If that quote sounds familiar to you, the comedian Cat Williams has said the same thing about her butt and it caused a viral moment. If you are interested in seeing the entire story behind that, make sure to stick around until the end and I'll link you a video that shows you exactly what I'm talking about. Even though Paris apologized to Kim later on and Kim accepted it, it got silent around them and their friendship. And while at that point, Paris probably already felt betrayed by Kim because she was using her as a jumping pad to get famous, Kim managed to make it even worse. In an interview in 2011, Kim was asked about her relationship with Paris Hilton, and she said, There comes a point in life where you just grow apart, and you realize you're not as similar as you thought, and I never run into her anywhere. Isn't that so weird? Now here comes the part that upset people in Paris the most, and this is also why Paris felt betrayed by Kim. For years, Kim would go and deny the fact that she was using Paris as a jumping pad and that she would have made it without her help as well. Fans online started trashing Kim for that, and they tried to give her a reality check, and one fan wrote, Let's not rewrite history here. Kim Kardashian might be a megastar now, but it's clear as day that Paris Hilton paved the way for her. Without Paris, Kim would have remained in the background. Or another one that wrote, Everyone seems to forget how Kim got her start. She was literally in Paris Hilton's shadow before any of us knew her name. Or the last one that said, I find it amusing that Kim acts like she didn't use her association with Paris to climb the fame ladder. Paris was the queen of the media circus. Without Paris, there would be no Kim Kardashian. And this is exactly what makes Paris so mad. Not only has Kim used Paris' fame, knowledge, and strategies to make herself famous, but then she goes ahead and even denies all of the things Paris has done for her. And I can definitely understand why Paris is upset about this. When these allegations came up, Kim initially ignored all of the allegations, and she tried to get people to stop talking about it. But this wasn't the case, and people kept talking about it. And even then, it took Kim years to start talking about it and just slightly acknowledge Paris Hilton's huge help in building her career. After she was heavily pressured, she said in their TV show, I really would want to do anything for her. She gave me a career. And while this might seem like a lot of praise from Kim, she hasn't done anything to help Paris to get back to her old level of fame. So in my opinion, this were just empty words from Kim. In the following years, they were seen every now and then together and according to the things they have said that they are friends. However, this is probably just to not cause a huge media shitstorm against Kim or Paris. But I'm super interested in hearing your opinion on this entire drama around Paris and Kim. Do you think it's okay from Paris to feel betrayed by Kim, or does she have no reason to feel that way? And what is even more interesting, do you think Kim just used Paris Hilton's fame to get a celebrity herself? Or would Kim have gotten famous without Paris? Let me know down in the comments, and also don't forget to check out the video I have talked about earlier. It's about Cat Williams basically trashing Kim's entire career in a podcast. I have linked it right here on the screen for you. With that being said, thanks for watching, and until next time.